What up guys, Miguel here of Giga Tech and TCL, a Chinese multinational electronics company. If you've heard of them, it's probably because of their very affordable television sets. In this video, we're checking out the Plex, their very own smartphone first introduced in IFA 2019 back in September. If you guys want to know more about the TCL Plex, stay tuned and find out in this quick unboxing and hands-on. Alright, so after opening the box, we are greeted with a quick little message here from TCL. It states that they can't wait to see what we do with their phone. I can think of a few things. Right after you finish reading the greeting card, we get the phone itself, setting that aside for now. Below it, we get the secondary box where one can find the included SIM ejector tool. And in this box, we get some paperwork and a case. Lastly, at the very bottom, we get a USB Type-C to A cable as well as this 18 watt charging adapter because yes, the TCL Plex supports Quick Charge 3. So for the phone itself, first impressions, this is a really nice IPS LCD display. Colors look vibrant for what it is, though those bezels aren't the thinnest, but they aren't the thickest either. We most notably get a chin here at the bottom, but other than that, it really isn't that bad. That is forgivable if you ask me. What isn't is the light, the backlight bleed around the edges, most noticeably on the 24 megapixel punch hole selfie camera. Checking out the rear, our unit is in the obsidian black colorway, but there is an opal white option available. This color, with its rainbow holographic coat on top, really reminds me of the black color option from Samsung's A50, as it had this rainbow holographic coat on the top as well. Also found here is the main triple camera setup composed of a 48 megapixel main sensor, a 16 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The main camera module is arranged horizontally, which I am a fan of. Also found here is a pair of LED flashes. What's interesting about the implementation is you get the three sensors in between them. So now they have this separated thing and symmetry is taking control of the design. And what's cool about it is if I use the torch on this thing, if I turn it on from the notifications, one turns on, but if I hold it down, they'll both turn on. So more power. Last but not the least, we also get a rear-mounted fingerprint scanner on here. It isn't the fastest, but it isn't the slowest. What I hate about it is the unlocking animation. It kind of has this fade from black thing going on, which also ultimately makes it feel slower than it is. And so far in my testing, I just got it wrong and I got it right there. Uh, let's do that again. On the left side, we can find the hybrid dual SIM card tray and dedicated Google Assistant button. On the right resides the volume rocker followed by the power button. Tactility isn't the best as we have experienced a bunch of phones with more clickiness with the buttons. But ergonomics is great on this device so I do like the button placement and overall grip a lot. Situated at the top of the Plex is the noise cancelling mic for speakerphone as well as the 3.5mm audio jack. At the bottom, we can find the main microphone for regular calls disguised in this extra speaker grill, a USB Type-C port, and the actual single downward firing speaker. Under the hood of the TCL Plex is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 chipset coupled with an Adreno 612 GPU. Our unit sports 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, and out of the box, we get Android 9 Pi skinned with TCL UI on top. For battery, the Plex gets a decent 3820 mAh cell with support for Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3 and we'll have to wait and see how this battery fares in our full review. Now, for those of you interested in what the TCL Plexus camera can do, enjoy some quick sample shots right now. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing and hands-on of this TCL Plex. Let us know what you guys think about this guy in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button. Subscribe right to your YouTube channel, hit that bell icon so you get notified of future uploads. Be sure to visit yukatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.